Welcome to my midweek message. My name is Andres Kutsia and I'm the pastor of University Presbyterian Church. Today I'm visiting with you from our front yard. Beth and I created this little sitting area in the front yard and we love to have various sitting areas throughout our garden for us to relax, to visit, but also to daydream. We thought it was important to have one in our front yard as it connects us with our neighborhood and create opportunities to engage with our neighbors. But it is also important for us to sit back, relax and daydream. I sometimes think we forget in our busy lives the importance of daydreaming. So with COVID-19, with more of us at home, we, some of us are fortunate to have the opportunity to, to be doing a little bit more of daydreaming. And sometimes we minimize the power of what we call daydreaming. Actually, they say when we are dreaming or daydreaming, more specific, it engages different parts of our brain. It's not that we stop thinking. It's just that different parts of our brain are engaged and it helps us grow in creativity. So this coming Sunday, my colleague Don Martin is preaching and she is going to ask us the what if questions. The what if questions as an expression of our imaginations. But I believe the what if questions are also an invitation for us to dream dreams as it poses a possibility of that which one day may be a reality. So as we find ourselves in the midst of COVID-19, this coming Sunday, we are going to dream of what the world is going to look like once we come out of COVID-19. So we also realize in worship that these what if questions is just the beginning. They are just a spark that gives an idea or a path or a roadmap for us to travel on as community and as a world. So join us this coming Sunday and ask your own what if questions. What if? But also, I hope between now and Sunday morning worship, you will carve out a space is it in your home or is it outside to sit back to relax and do a little bit of daydreaming and ask what if thank you